All right, Julie, so the season has obviously gone really well so far. Um, coming into this year, you probably had an idea about how competitive the roster would be, but what would you say that you've learned about this team and their identity almost two-thirds of the way into the season? Um, that's a loaded question. Um, I think what I've learned about the team is that I think they really embraced each other's talent ability, and I think having the um, percentage of older talented players uh, in conjunction with the percentage of the younger talented players, I think they really just embraced the respect of those older players and knowing how the training environment was very competitive, was has high level quality of skill level. And I think that when it was all kind of brought together and they started being able to evaluate themselves within the group, um, they saw how good the team potentially could be because you never really know what it looks like until they're all together and I think once they were all together and then they started training together and they really embraced the high level of quality that was there on the fields uh, and obviously it challenged and raised the bar of a lot of our younger players um, I just think it just it kind of organically really just grew and it organically just it, they just embraced each other it just kind of naturally happens uh, wasn't anything that was forced on them. I think it just organically uh, came about on its own. What do you think it's going to take to continue the run of success that we've had as a, as a team so far um, and keep it up for the remainder of the season and hopefully into the playoffs? Uh, I think to, to keep the remainder of the sec success going for us is going to be like just really being able to come out of the starting block from the first whistle, that mental preparation of game readiness. And, uh, you know, I think this is a team that really believes in themselves and they believe in each other. And I think that they know that even when we have players missing, that we're still a good team. When those players come back, we're a good team. Uh, we have good depth. And so I think they just embrace the opportunity and they're a very confident team now. So they're really coming out and they've really just kind of taking the bull by the horns and they just come out and they perform and they they love their atmosphere they they're really enjoying playing for their community and I think all of that and the hype of the Liberty right now and everybody really coming out to very very much enjoying watching them play because they're a very fun team to watch and I think they enjoy playing together so they look forward to this moment and they know that moment's a very short is a very, in a very short window of time and so they're just trying to make the most of it so I think they're really bought into making the most of the of the opportunity for success over the summer and then it's not every day that you know you find out that a player that you're coaching right now has been called up to their respective national team um, you know for a player like Megan Bourne camp to be playing for you this summer and is somebody that you've already known from your time at Clemson. Um, from a coach's standpoint and just an overall, you know, personable standpoint, what does it mean to have a player like that on a team, you know, where you have high school girls and that sort of gives them, you know, a type of player to look up to while they may not have a chance to play for their na respective national team one day? What does it mean to be able to play with somebody and have a relationship? Um, I think that, you know, Megan Bornkamp, along with her teammates, they're setting the bar high for these younger players. They're uh, being good examples and good mentors of what the bar is to get to that level, what that, what that ideal player looks like, what encompasses a player that gets called into a national team or national pool camp. Uh, what, what do those players look like? What encompasses those players as people? Uh, I think the relationships are important because it's a really, it's a friendship, it's a nurturing friendship. It's not so much a coach player relationship as much as it is, how can we continue to help and support them in their growth? And I think it's important for the young players to see what that friendship looks like with those players. Um, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with you know, what those elite players are doing in their network of resources. You know, Clemson offers a lot of resources and, and Megan Bornkamp understands, hey, how do I utilize all of the resources that are available to me? And so it's getting these younger players to see 
what she uses and what her resources are and her commitment to training and rest and recovery and nutrition and having someone like that uh, in your culture um, is just better for the growth of the game. It's better for the growth and the development of these younger women. One last question and sum up. Two Liberty home matches left in this regular season. What do you have to say to Liberty fans for the rest of the season? Well, the first thing I would say to those that have been out and already enjoyed watching them play, um, obviously our time is limited, so continue to come out and support uh, the Liberty program. Obviously, we're in a very short window of time for the season, and so we obviously want these girls and these women to return to play for the league next summer for the Liberty. So we wanna to continue to give them that support. And if you haven't been out to a Liberty game, you've missed a lot. Uh, you've missed a lot of excitement, a lot of passion, a lot of resilience from a very quality uh, team that's been put together that really enjoy playing together that just create a lot of energy for the Greenville community.